Hey guys, and welcome to update video 131. I'm Zockley, and I'm going to be running you through this week's update. So the main part of this week's update is improved HUD markers. These new HUD markers mean less text spam and also the markers fade their titles out when not looking directly at them and their distance label has been reduced in size. Secondly, signal grouping is now a thing. Signals that are very far away are now clustered into a single signal on the screen with a summary of what it contains. We've also added signal type symbology. Signals now also show their relationship to the player through a symbol instead of just colours. This will hopefully help those colourblind people out there. Also, signals now render by depth order, which means the nearest signal is always on top of the stack. This slightly improves readability in the case of many signals on a pile. These improvements should mean less clutter on your screen and it will be especially noticeable on dedicated servers with many beacons and antennas. Please note that this is the first iteration of the improved HUD markers and we would love to hear your feedback on how we can improve them even more, so please do leave those below. Also this week, we made optimizations to voxel modification. So this could be mining of a load of drills or warheads and missiles exploding on voxels. There should be much less stuttering, lagging and freezing when making changes to voxels from now on. So some other things worth mentioning this week are some sound fixes, but also more improvements to the programmable block. And thanks to the community guys for their continued work on this. So that's everything for this week, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And for a list of all the features, bug fixes and improvements, please see the change log via the link in the description box below. We've got some really nice updates coming in the near future, so keep an eye out for those. And I'm actually going to leave you with another teaser, and be sure to stay for that and check that out, and please leave your feedback and comments below. And I'm also going to end with a quote, because that seemed to go down pretty well last week. There are more atoms in a cup of water than there are cups of water in the oceans of the world. That's a hell of a lot of cups.